Hi guys, welcome to the channel and today's general reading. This one is not sign specific, so we are going to take a look at the energies in order to find out what they have to say about the path in front of you. And so as the saying goes, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You don't have to fit in every consideration that we are going to share about the energies that come up. So let's see what we can get, kinda old style even for our channel. Here we go. Five of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. The Strength card. The Lovers. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Swords. Ace of Swords. Justice. The Temperance. Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So this feels like a transition for you. The opportunity to embrace a different direction, 100%. Five of Pentacles, guys. It's like you do not feel fulfilled with a particular situation in your life. It can be a romantic connection, it can be a job, it can be a relationship with a family member or a friend. Communication is not productive, so it's like you cannot find the combination to open the lock when it comes to a flow of communication that can help you to improve the overall situation. If it is a matter of finances, for example, because you would love for the situation to be better and to improve, you still have to count your blessings. This is important because it is about a mindset. It's like the encouragement to think about what can be good in your life right now in order to replicate those aspects even when it comes to different endeavors that may not be exactly satisfying right now. In order to kind of embrace this shift, the hanged man is what you have to fulfill. It's a shift in perspective and of course we are talking about an uncomfortable situation and some of you can even say I feel stuck, but I do not know how I can change the situation to my advantage. This is almost a perspective that may not be necessary, if you ask me, because we may have to give up something, you know? And this can sting sometimes, but it can be beneficial moving forward. So. In this version of the hanged man, the young lady or the young boy is stuck in an uncomfortable position, yes, but there is a key in the hands of the figure. So some of you may have a solution at hand. The question can be, do you like it? Would you prefer a different type of answer? But this can be out of your hands. And so what you may have to do is gather the courage, strength card, to handle the current situation that can be a stormy one, one that can cause problems or struggles and kind of make the best out of it. I can understand that some of you can say, well, thank you, but it's a challenge. Yes, I get it. It's better for us to face it sooner rather than later. Otherwise, it may even become bigger because if we kind of think that a struggling situation can almost fix itself alone, you know, this is not going to happen anytime soon. And so we need to gather courage and then willpower and then effort because you may have the chance to change the landscape 
that you can see in front of you, especially if it is one that is not satisfying. The lovers that we see is a choice from the heart. So if you are thinking about a transition following the Eight of Cups, are you ready for it? Do you want to go for it? Do you want to leave behind an unfulfilling romantic connection? Do you want to look for a new job? Would you like for a connection with a family member or a friend or maybe a colleague uh, to improve? You may be called to take the first step in order to see what the other person can offer as a feedback and also in order to see if the decision to move in a different direction kind of becomes the only real option to make things better. This is not necessarily easy, guys, but it's a matter of evaluating a give and take and we have the Six of Pentacles. In this case, this energy in this version, I want to show it to you, lovely, lovely card. This is about sharing, sharing a conversation, sharing some ideas about how a situation can be improved. But we also have to kind of be prepared to face some surprises that can be pleasant or maybe not, according to the person or the people that we are dealing with. So you will have to watch your mouth and be careful with your words because we see the Knight of Swords in the mix. And we know that the Knight of Swords can be a tricky energy when it comes to communication. In this version, for me, it's an energy that can be all over the place it's a charge, basically, you know, let's go, let's go and do it. But we need a plan and the Ace of Swords is helpful when it comes to that. Because if communication has been struggling for you and the people around you, you have to make the effort, strength card, to pay attention and listen first so that your words can be sharp and clear and precise in order to convey a message that can make all the difference in order for you to improve the overall situation. The Ace of Swords is about truth and clarity. We know that. There is power. There is power in this version of the Ace of Swords because there are lightnings that are basically gathering in favor of the sword of the witch. We have to measure our words because they are the key, the same key that we see in the hanged man, to unlock changes and new opportunities. This can be a conversation with a lover in order to understand if the two of you can still work things out together. This can be a conversation in the workplace because maybe you want something different. Maybe you can still get it in the same job or maybe not. And you will have to prepare yourself in order to look in a different direction, but you need a plan. The Ace of Swords encourages you to do that, to figure in your mind what plan can describe the progression that you want. And if this is the opportunity to talk with a family member, a friend or someone close to you, you will have to speak up in a way that can be respectful of the other person, but also respectful of what you believe in. And we jump right away to the justice. For me, a right and fair decision that can follow a right and fair exchange. We have to balance the scales when it comes to the interactions that can unfold in our everyday life. I love the fact that the justice lady is blindfolded, but she can see with one of her eyes, you know? So 
this is about the opportunity to realize that we already know what we want to do. Even if we may experience doubts, we already know what we want to do. And it's just a matter of gathering the courage to do it. We need fairness. We need balance. We need an equal give and take. Yes, but we cannot settle for a sequence of events that is not satisfying because maybe we do not feel rewarded. And this is the key to stand up, speak up in order to call in the type of change that we want for us, because this can be the right and fair decision. And this is also the opportunity to be honest and transparent with those around us. Otherwise, if we try to please other people, chances are we are going to run the risk to hurt ourselves, you know, because we may not be satisfied with the unfolding events. So temperance energy, guys, we need balance, yes, but we also have to find a quiet place for us, for us. Otherwise, we cannot think in the most productive way. And this can be about several aspects of your life. Because if a situation in your life drains a lot of energies, even other interactions can pay the price for that. Because maybe you can snap. Maybe you do not have enough energy. Maybe you can forget to handle certain situations that can still be important for you, you know? Or you cannot put the necessary amount of effort in order to be satisfied with the outcome. We need to make adjustments. If these adjustments can be made with those around us, this can be positive. It's a plus. But if we realize that we are involved in a small situation, whatever it may be, what are we going to do about it? Are we going to stay stuck? Kind of feeling sad, you know, look what's happening to me. Well, what are we doing in order to change a situation that may not be the one that we want? Wheel of Fortune. Make your choice. What do you want? As soon as the choice is made, the wheel can spin. And guys, we see the tower. So there can be a major change. But this version of the Major Arcana is particularly interesting because, yes, the tower has fallen apart, but the lady may really have done it on purpose. You see the sparks coming from the wand? This can be a necessary change for some of you guys. A necessary change that you can basically picture in your mind if you gather information and the knowledge, the Page of Swords. But this is the chance to... This is the chance to do things in a new way by accepting also the necessity to embrace a loss. That's why I was saying in the beginning that we may have to give up something because considering the struggles that can be involved in this situation, in order to change it, we may need to leave behind something that has expired its course. This is not necessarily a bad thing, because the Wheel of Fortune can be a lucky break. And this one seems to be a lucky break, truly for the better. There is knowledge available and some of you can gather it because you may have also the opportunity to talk with someone in your life that can offer you advice, someone more experienced, someone that can share with you 
wisdom of experience, I would say, I am looking at the books in the Page of Swords. They can be linked to the book that we see in the Justice Major Arcana. Meaning that someone that has gone through the journey in the past may offer you elements that can be helpful in order to handle a situation that right now for you may not be enough or the one that you truly want. But if you expect that other people can fix it for you, you may be up for a long wait. Instead, you have to take action on your own because this can open up new chances. And we know the drill with the Eight of Cups, leaving behind an unfulfilling situation in order to pursue elsewhere the emotional fulfillment that can truly reward our heart and soul. And this is a choice from the heart for some of you. But luck can be on your side. And even if you have to end a chapter following the tower, it can still be the opportunity to make space for something way more auspicious, way more fulfilling. If there is an advice from these energies, if you ask me, it should be this one. Do not wait. Do not wait. The time for the change that you want has already come. It's up to you to stand up and manifest it. You can do it. You can do it if you want to. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you the best, take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.